kind of the fourth, I guess, what does it mean to you to have the belief from your teammates just to let you be able to do what you do best and score just an obscene amount of points every night? Um, it feels good. It feels good just to have my teammates behind me each and every night. Um, I know early on, they like, keep going, keep going. Uh, you're going to get your rhythm. You're going you're gonna to figure it out. Just keep going and, and pretty much just stay within the rims of the team and uh, do whatever you have to do. So uh, most of all, the team always comes first, first and foremost. And they, they tell me if I got the little midi or um, the, the runner, take it. But also look for Javel or look for um, – look for a big drum rolling as well. So um, they pretty much have a lot of confidence in me. So I uh, pretty much, I love it. And defensively, you know, looking at, you know, the third, the first quarter, you guys, they scored 45 points or 35 points, sorry. But then the rest of the game, they scored 56, I think. Um, but what did you see, especially in the second half, is the biggest difference that you guys were able to do defensively? Well, we came into the locker room and we had a whole lot of discussion pretty much. It was going at each other, this and that, um, not in a bad way, but like letting each other know like, hey, you got to do this, you got to do that. And you can tell it's coming from a good place. And when when it's coming from a good place, you, you respect it more and you listen a lot, a lot better. So um, we knew what we had to do tonight. And we, um, towards the end, we had to buckle down and come together. We couldn't do it um, alone. And um, that was pretty much the main message from the team um, during halftime. Coach JB, he let us talk it out during halftime. Uh, we came out and, and played with some grit and um, competed. And then being back in Atlanta um, and just being able to get the win, what did it feel like to just be back? I know obviously there's not fans in the arena, but just to be back here and where you're from and, and to get the win tonight, how did that feel? It, it feels good. It feels good to be back in the A. Um, had to get a win coming back home. I mean, I'm undefeated here, so uh, I had to continue to um, – let it go tonight. So uh, it was a big win for us, and now we're four two. So thanks, Ryan. Go ahead. <clears throat> Ryan Lewis with the Beacon Journal. Um, Colin, a couple of days ago, JB uh, was mentioning that uh, you guys may have played with some doubt after trailing in the first quarter, and I, I think you mentioned that guys were passing up too many shots, um, especially in the second half tonight. Did you see just an, an improvement there? Oh yeah, absolutely. I seen a big improvement. Uh, I felt like tonight we didn't pass up a lot of shots. So we made sure that uh, if we didn't have a shot, we swung it. But even though we looked for our shots, first and foremost, he wanted us to, to step into the open ones. And um, the worst thing you can do is pass up an open shot because usually uh, we don't get a better shot after you, you pass up that one good one. So um, tonight, I feel like the second half, um, we, we pretty much took a lot of shots that we, we needed to take. And um, it, it was great for us down the stretch. And uh, Larry Nance was just talking about he was looking at some top 100 players in the league list before the season, and he was surprised that you weren't on it. Do you use anything like that, or has anything like that ever just added some extra motivation for you? Um, well, when I'm out there, I play with a chip on my shoulder regardless um, of the situation. And I really I really don't even look at those things uh, too, too much. I know what I can do, and I know what I want to, to be in the future. So... Um, those rankings and anything like that, that doesn't fuel me. I, just, I feel myself. Um, I know I want to uh, be pretty good, and I want to do whatever it takes for the team to win. So uh, that's individual goals. Uh, I'm more like a team team person. And I want to win. I'm tired of losing. Chris, go ahead. Hey, Colin. Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. Sorry if you were asked this. I was writing questions, literally writing questions to JaVale McGee in the other room. But – you know, you've, you've matched up against Trey Young um, a number of different times throughout the course of your career, so you know what that kind of challenge is like. Can you speak to what Dante Exum did tonight on the defensive end of the floor against Trey? Um, he, he played great. He played great. He came and did what he had to do. He, he locked him up and pretty much just made it tough on the entire night. Yeah, Trey got some easy ones, but it wasn't. It wasn't just at easy one after easy one. He always had someone um, in front of him, someone pesting him. So um, Dante did an amazing job tonight, and um, that's what he does. He, he takes on the challenge uh, each and every night. So I'm very proud of him. I know we talked about it after the game that he, he stepped up big for us, and um, we was happy for him. 
obviously it's a little bit unconventional with him playing the three in that starting lineup. Um, but that's what JB has gone with the last two games um, in the absence of Isaac. What, what has Dante brought to that five man lineup? Energy. He brings energy and he brings the, the will to compete. He loves to compete um, when he's out there. He, um, he plays defense. And I feel like uh, when he's out there, we, we pretty much just, just buckle down and get what we got to do. And, um, me and him go back and forth on who's the better defender, like on ball. So um, we try, pretty much just trying to go at each other and um, show each other something. Uh, tonight, he stepped up big for us, and I feel like he's a big part of this man for sure. Are you willing or ready to admit that Dante might be better as a defender? <laughs> no, uh, not yet, not yet. I can't give it to him. I, I can't give it to him too early. Too early. Kelsey, go ahead. There we go, um, Colin. I was curious. You know, kind of going off something Ryan said, we talked about how there there seemed to be some self doubt earlier on. How do you guys use this game? You know, when thinking about those two losses and then seeing it kind of how you guys responded again tonight, how do you use that going forward just to kind of continue building on who you guys want to be? Um, well, the first, um, the first two that we lost as well as this one is the start. It's the start of the game. It's the start. And we keep talking about it. We have to come out with a better start, better start, better start. And, uh, when it's like that, we got to make sure we, we put, put the actions, um, action to words. We can't just um, say it. We got to be about it. And I feel like the last three games, we haven't been about it. You can tell like the grit has been coming in, in the fourth quarter sometimes or even the third. And it's the start of the game what, what wins it. So. And, you know, in the off season, we talked about to you a lot about how just the the your muscle that you put on, the, the things that you did to really just kind of grow this off season through these first six games, how have you seen that the work that you did in the off season just help pay off for you? Um, it's paid off for a big time just because of the muscle that I put on. I've been able to stand my ground in the post, make sure I don't get bullied here and there, and pretty much be able to bust through any screen. And, um, it, it's it's really really good that I, that my trainer helped me as well as D Mill helping me, and uh, it was big time for me. And also like. A, turning into a lot of uh, meditation just so I can 